Hello, this is Asa Maiden here with my assistant, beautiful Brenna, and we have my friend Ainsley here today. Hi. And we are going to answer this question. Why aren't rivers straight? Rocks, a dirt pile, and some water. First, we have to put the rocks inside of the dirt. Oh, wait. So you can see it. This, the rocks will make the river, when we pour the watering can, makes the water bend and it makes the river go different paths. Jeez. Next we are going to wait. It's hard to stick the back one in. We have to pour the water slow in so that Bring it, it this way a little bit. create a river. So I can see it on the camera. Yeah, there you go. You have to pour the water kind of slow so that we can see the rivers fall. Oops. I'm sure we pissed. Did any of the rivers tick? <laughs> Then we're going to begin watering the mountain. This is what happens in something called a river bank. The water passes through and dumps the water out. Okay, that's probably good. Water went like down here some places, and it went down here. Because the rocks Look how it went made around that big rock, though. See how it cut like grooves around that big rock? Yeah. That's because the rocks are like the trees and stuff that are on the mountain. Welcome to Aiden Science Park. When water flows down a mountain, it finds the quickest path to the bottom, even if the path isn't straight. Trees, rocks, and hills cause it to change direction and the speed it travels. When water moves slowly, it tends to dig away at its boundaries, the river bank, and sometimes will cut a piece out of the bank, which makes the river a little wider at that at that point. Every time the river changes, the water flow changes, and that causes even more variation in the path of the river. So over time, a river can carve out all kinds of interesting paths to the sea. But that's not all. When a new piece of the river is carved out, the current carries rocks and dirt farther downstream. But that's not what this does. Where this material lands, the river gets shallower. That is why the mouths of, the, of rivers, especially where they empty into the ocean, tend to be really wide open and flat, with water that moves slowly into the ocean. You see how the water is flowing? Yeah, it's taking flowing different paths. Um, thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and have a good day. Bye. Have a nice Bye. day. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. And watch our, and watch every single one.